Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Pat Osnerol and as always, thank you for watching. Today I will be making a house tour for our new house here in Misawa, Airbase Japan. And this video is for newcomers to the space to use as a reference so they can have an idea of what their new house will look like. This specific one is called a townhome. So without further ado, let's get into it. Here you have a really big porch to put your stuff in. Lots of space. There's a football just sitting around. Here is a storage area. Upon moving here, you will see that these three trash cans, biodegradable, non-biodegradable, and the glass and metal are located here. And as you can see, very generous in storage space. That's a massive amount that you can put stuff in. Here you have a sliding door. You can see inside of your house. Here's the front door. And as you can see, also lots of space to put your stuff in. Hitting inside is the house. And the first thing you notice is the hallway. It's a narrow hallway, but still pretty cool. This is heading upstairs. And this is a box where you can put your shoes in and stuff in. And this is a loaner furniture. What is loaner furniture? It is a type of furniture that uh, the base gives to you to, use, to borrow until your stuff comes, then they'll take it away. Here is where the laundry room is located. Cabinets. And here is the dining room. However, the planners actually intended this to be a family room, but what even is that? And, and most people use this as a dining room, so it just makes sense. Here is the kitchen. And what's fascinating about Misawa Air Base Japan is they're really generous in storage area, as I've said before. Look, they utilize all of that space to give you cabinets and closets, whatever you call them. And here you have a really uh, spacious counter. And stretching from here to there. Now moving in to the living room. And here is the backyard. Sliding doors as well. Let's take a look outside. And as you can see, lots of space. Lots of space. However, no storage on the sides. Which kind of sucks, but look. And really nice flooring as well. It is quite a narrow, but a long living room, as you can see. And you have a cool sliding door there, so for privacy. However, this area, the planners also intended this to be the dining room. But why would you sacrifice space if you could just use all of this space to use as a living room? And plus, some houses are carpets. This is one of them. And some more loaner furniture here. Back into the hallway. Here you have your under the stairs storage where you can put your other stuff inside your house. Lots of space as well. And here is the half bathroom. Really nice toilet, I like it. And here is a big mirror. And for the all that. I also forgot to mention this one. This storage area is the shoe room. We can store your shoes, or if you don't want to store your shoes, you can store something else. Now let's head upstairs. And this is where things really start to be carpeted. Here we go. The first room here is bedroom one. It's the smallest one out of all of them. I think this is the amount of space you have. Not much space you have to utilize. 
whatever you have. And this here, it looks like cabinet, sliding cabinet. So I guess that's really cool. Heading to the master bedroom. And I think this one's going to be called bedroom four. This isn't the floor plan. It's not really that big, but it's better to have a room than to not have a room. Here's the bathroom. Big mirror. And then here you have another mirror. You can put your stuff in. Here's your shower. Really cool shower, isn't it? I think it is. That's all you have. And then here you have the closet. Not a walk-in closet, but it's still got my space to put your stuff in. Moving on to another storage here. Look at this. I think this one is the living closet because of its organization. Lots of storage really. And there's another one. No, this one is really big. Look at this. Turn the lights. Look at that. So much storage space here. It's amazing. It is impeccable, I'm telling you. That's great. Now, I forgot which one's bedroom two or three. Well, let's go to bedroom two. I think this is the second smallest room. As you can see, not, not a lot of space. And here you have the cabinets as well. And then you even have an upper cabinet to put your you no know, secret stuff. Right. And this is bedroom three. The second biggest one after the master bedroom. That's what it looks like. All of these are learned furniture, just like in the other rooms. Here's your closet. Good amount of space. And inside you even have more space, which is amazing. Let's get a good view of this. And in the bathroom here. Which do I use? Big mirror as well. And then you have this mirror cabinet. Shower, bathtub. And there you go. Thank you for watching the video. I hope it helps. If you have any other questions, please refer to the description down below. Or if they're not in the description, just comment down below and I will answer it. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.